down they come towards the pond fence for the final time Valshida shaken up on the inside of step back with I see you well Paddy Barlow I see you well Lily Bradstock set on the board to step back and then the favourite Valshida is outpaced there approaching the third last he's lost his position and now it's all changed up front because Lebroy has come through with a big challenge under Megan Fox. They're moving down to the second last. I see you well and Lebroy from step back in third. Valshida looks beaten back in fourth and got in tight there as well. Up they come to the final fence. I see you well and Paddy Barlow from Lebroy and Megan Fox as they come to it now is step back close up on the near side. The final fence. I see you well is over it by two. From on the near side, step back, who's rolling back the years and begins to close up this famous hill. I see you well, leading by a couple of lengths, though, as they race up towards the line. Step back, trying, but it'll go to I see you well and Paddy Barlow. Here's the second last now as they come down towards it. Havela with Penarossa and non-stop. Kansas de Burley looks weary and looks beaten as they move now between the second last and the final flight. Penarossa gamely digging deep here as they race up towards the final flight non-stop now shaken up with Havela between horses over the final flight non-stop drawing alongside the gallant Penarossa who pulls out a bit more over on the far side as they race on up the hill Penarossa has made just about every yard so far and he's digging deep where it matters 50 yards left to go this is a gay performance as Penarossa creates an enormous surprise for Camilla Poulter and Charlie Price to beat Havela and they've got three more fences to take in the Jumeirah Hotels and Resorts Novices Limited Handicap Chase. Milan Bridge, though, to be fair, is responding. Here they come to the third last. Gloire Thon and Raffle Ticket in the pale pink and yellow colours up towards the third last in the air together. Three clear of Fable. Milan Bridge again being bustled along and it seems to be between the two ahead of them at this stage. Two more fences to go. Raffle ticket on the near side. Guarda thought on the inside. Up over the second last together. And he just pecked slightly on landing raffle ticket. Guarda Thorn digging deep. The two of them inseparable as they jump that. Up towards the final fence. Fable is four lengths behind in third place. This is the final fence for them both here. And Guarda Thorn emerges with a narrow advantage from raffle ticket is just tying up fable is staying on for pressure behind other james bowen they race up the hill here and it's still guardathon fable though is lunging late but guardathon gamely held on from fable and out in front it's i'd like to know from henry's friend and then on the outside henry the second man at work is coming under a drive and has just hit a bit of a flat spot as Maximilian starts to make up ground on the outside part this one battling away on the inside next and they're all shuffling the pack a bit here as they approach the second last flight I'd like to know taken on now by Henry's friend and Henri the second looming up on the outside as they go over the second last then man at work has stumbled made a mistake there passed there by Maximilian is about to go into third place down they come to the final flight Henry's friend the dark blue Henri the second in the green sleeves little to choose between them over the final flight and it was Henri the second who just touched down with a narrow lead from Henry's friend they're about six or seven clear of Maximilian and they race on up the hill here and Henri the second well he was second on his hurdling debut his first today where it counts in the Ballymore Winter Novices hurdle Henri the second in first place by four these five there's only a couple of lakes between them as they square up now towards the pond fence Clondor Bertie the white face behind them is driven along trying to close on them and high up in the air at least he's going to complete we hope as they come down towards the third last now and Darabin now being ridden to draw alongside and join the leader Corrigine Rock Derek Fox though hasn't moved on Corrigine Rock yet and looks pretty confident they're coming down towards the second last Corrigine Rock on the inner and on the outside Darabin and then Heartbreak Kid manoeuvring into third place. Darabin got in a bit tight there from Rosie Haas on the inner. Now they move up towards the 13th and final fence. And the favourite, Corrigine Rock, is six lengths clear. Heartbreak Kid now trying to close down that deficit. Got in tight there, the leader. Still led over it by about five, though. Heartbreak Kid and Brian Hughes trying to rein in this leader. But this is Corrigine Rock, surely the one to beat as he races on up the hill in the colours of the Caledonian Racing Club. 
Derek Fox and Lucinda Russell all the way down from Scotland win. And now push comes to shove for Hugo's new horse on the outside under Harry Cobden. Look at Raymond Tusk on the inside, travelling well for Tom Cannon. And then Galahad Threepwood creeping closer all the time. Sadler's Bay hanging slightly behind them. Up towards the second last they go, and there's a four-way go for the lead now. As they come towards it, Hugo's new horse responding with Mott Hill on the inside, Universal Secret battling. Then on the outside, here comes Galahad Threepwood and Raymond Tusk behind them. Alioski staying on now. Here they come down towards the final flight here. Galahad Threepwood from last to first. He hit that though. Hugo's new horse under pressure. Alioski back in third place from Raymond Tusk. A race on up the hill. Galahad Threepwood and Keelan Woods. Hugo's new horse relishing the battle on the inside and gets his head back in front. And Hugo's new horse goes on to win. A double for Paul Nichols and Harry Cobden.